acromioclavicular joint dislocation. The acromioclavicular joint is the point where the clavicle meets the scapula. The process extending from the scapula where it meets the clavicle is known as the acromion. Another bony process located below the clavicle is called the coracoid. The acromioclavicular ligament connects the collarbone to the the acromion process. The coracoacromial ligament attaches the coracoid to the acromion. The coracoclavicular ligament connect the collarbone to the coracoid. It consists of two ligaments, the trapezoid ligament in front, and the conoid ligament behind. The acromioclavicular joint plays an important role in shoulder movement. AC joint dislocation is a traumatic injury to the joint with disruption of the acromioclavicular ligaments and or coracoclavicular ligaments, so that the acromion begins to move away from the clavicle. An AC joint injury often occurs as a result of a direct blow from a fall onto the shoulder or on outstretched arm. Athletes who play contact sports such as football and hockey are susceptible to this injury. Symptoms Symptoms may include pain and weakness in your shoulder. You may not be able to move your shoulder. Tenderness over the AC joint shoulder when touched on top of the shoulder. Your shifted clavicle may create a visible bump beneath your skin. Plain radiographs, X-ray, confirms the diagnosis of AC joint dislocation. Common findings include misalignment of the joint which indicates an AC dislocation. Sometimes a stress view is helpful. It is the X-ray is taken while the injured person holds a weight to accentuate the separation. Stress views may be helpful to evaluate type 3 injuries if surgery is being considered or if an AC separation is suspected but not visible on the initial X-rays. Classification The position of the clavicle and the amount of separation are used to grade the severity of the injury. Type 1 AC injuries occur when the acromioclavicular ligament is stretched and partially torn. The acromioclavicular joint remains stable. Type 2 AC injuries occur when the acromioclavicular ligament is completely torn and the elevation of the clavicle is more evident on X-rays. Type 3 AC injuries occur when the acromioclavicular ligament and coracoclavicular ligaments are completely torn. The clavicle is 100% displaced from the acromion. Type 4 AC injuries occur when the ligaments are completely torn and the clavicle is pushed backwards into the trapezius muscle. Type 5 AC injuries occur when the ligaments that stabilize the acromioclavicular joint are completely torn, and the deltoid and trapezius muscles are torn away from the clavicle. Type 6 AC injuries occur when the ligaments and muscles that stabilize the acromioclavicular joint are torn and the clavicle is dislocated inferiorly and lodged underneath the coracoid. Treatment most grade 1 to 3 AC separations are treated successfully with non-operative treatment that may include painkillers and anti-inflammatory medications, ice to reduce pain and swelling, rest in a protective sling until pain subsides, about 1 to 2 weeks. A rehabilitation program and physiotherapy to restore normal motion and strength is begun as soon as tolerated. The patient is allowed to return to sports after about two weeks for a grade 1 injury, six weeks for a grade 2 injury, and up to 12 weeks for a grade 3 injury. Operative treatment. Surgery may be necessary for Acute type 4, 5 or 6 injuries. Acute type 3 injuries in laborers and athletes.
Chronic type 3 injuries that does not respond well to non-operative treatment. A variety of surgical methods have been used to stabilize a separated AC joint. The AC joint can be adequately stabilized with AC hook plate fixation or by coracoclavicular ligament reconstruction. The AC joint can be fixed by K-wires or with CC screw fixation. Post-surgery rehabilitation Recovery programs following surgical repair vary depending on the type of surgery performed. General post-operation care recommendations include The use of a sling is required for about 4 weeks. After the removal of the sling, 6 to 8 weeks of physical therapy is necessary to regain full motion. You can drive your car from 6 to 8 weeks. Significant lifting and swimming from 3 months. Throwing and contact sports may be delayed for 4 to 6 months. Full recovery after AC joint surgery takes 6 to 12 months. AC joint pseudo dislocation. Please pay attention. In children injury to the acromioclavicular region is much more likely to result in a fracture of the growth plate of the distal clavicle than a true acromioclavicular joint dislocation. The false appearance of a joint dislocation on radiographs is related to the small and unossified epiphysis of the distal clavicle, which maintains its normal relationship to the acromioclavicular joint, while the distal metaphysis is superiorly displaced through a tear of the surrounding periosteal sleeve. The injured periosteal sleeve has strong osteogenic properties which will result in bone formation and occasionally in significant chronic clavicular deformity in significantly displaced fractures. Considering the impressive osseous remodeling capability of the distal clavicle, most of these injuries should be treated non-surgically, with closed reduction and simple immobilization. Significantly displaced fractures may however require open reduction and internal fixation, 